Everybody, it's your boy, Sir House of J. Yeah, 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 yes. Back again with another one for you. No, I have not lost my mind. For those that do not know this about me, I do not walk around cussing. I don't do it off YouTube, and I don't do it on YouTube. You can probably count almost on one hand in my life how many times a curse word slipped out. So since the title of this song is all curse words, I just had to change the lyrics. So just bear with me. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all might have got a little kick out of that one. But anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So um, as you can see, the name, this is by D'Angelo. And it's Sugar Honey Iced Tea. The curse word for the word darn. And um, yeah. That word that talks about people's mothers, mother. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'd like to give a shout out for um, Cameron Johnson. Thank you for the donation for this. And there's actually not a whole lot to the song. It's just like three different little, or really just two different sections we got to go over. You got to go over the part where you hear the, you know, that part. So let's start with that. Um. So in the intro with you won't hear the left hand you'll just hear like after you have the little drum beat you'll hear that like twice i think all right but let's take a look at once you have that left hand your left hand is going to start with e f sharp g a b Okay, and that's your rhythm. Um, e, G, G sharp, A, B. Oh, no, that's not the way. Sorry, G, F sharp, G, A, B. Okay, G, F sharp, G, A, B. E, G sharp. Why do I keep saying G sharp? I'm sorry, y'all. E, F sharp, G, A, B. Thank goodness I have that thing up there that's telling you what the notes are, right? As a matter of fact, let me fix it so that it's giving you the sharp names. So we won't even have any confusion. What do I got to click here? Sharps. That should take care of that since I can't seem to say the right notes. Okay, so we got E, F sharp, G, A, B. Okay. Now, what you have is real quickly, it goes the first time. The two chords that you're playing with on your right hand, you're going to be doing a B minor 7. This is an inverted B minor 7. A, B, D, F sharp. And then you're also dealing with A minor. A, C, E, G. Now, the first time you do the left hand, da, 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 da. You have to hit that A minor real quick and then go to B minor. Okay? So it's... That's how it is slow. You do it just like that. The A minor, A, C, E, G to B minor 7. A minor 7, I should say, to B minor 7. A, B, D, F sharp. The second um, riff with your left hand is... So it's slightly different. The second time is E, F sharp. G, B, A. So don't get it mixed up. The first one is E, F sharp, G, A, B. The second time, you're just going to switch the A, B to B, A. So you'll go E, F sharp, G, B, A. You want to go down. So first time is A, B, 
then B, A. Everything else is the same. So again, the first one. Now the second one is same two chords, but this time you just invert it. Just like you switch the bass line, you switch the chords. So that time you started with the B minor seven and went to the A minor seven. So the second the second um, run through is okay. So let's look at the whole cycle now. First one. So that's how that section of the song is. That's like the intro. Um, that's actually the chorus too. I think when he goes to the chorus, when he's actually doing that cussing, you know, the blop, the blop, okay. Um, that's those are the chords for that too. So it's the intro and it's the chorus. Now, when you come out of the chorus, you gotta go. All right, so these so when you're coming out of that section, you're going to start real. You're going to start on the C major, double C on the left hand, G C E on the right hand. Then you're going to quickly go to A minor, double A on the left hand, uh, A C E on the right hand. Then you're just going to take your A and lower it down to A flat on your left and right hand, which makes it a G sharp augmented double G sharp on the left hand G sharp C E on the right hand and then you're going to come down to a G 13 chord double G on the left hand F B E on the right hand and it's like when you're listening to his hi-hat once you hit the chord it's like he hits that hi-hat six times we got then after the sixth one, he goes to this chord. It's a C7 chord. Double C on the left hand. Uh, A sharp. Uh, C, E, and G on your right hand. And then he just slaps it before he goes to the, the next section. So here you go. So this is how that part, uh, this is how that progression is supposed to be played. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Like that. So you got, you got the da 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 da. Like that. Da -da -da -da. Like that. C. C major. A. G sharp augmented, G13, six hi hat. If you're listening to the track, you, uh, you hear the t -t -t -t, it's like six of it. Two, three, four, five, six. Not ten. And it's like it's like it's really like four times before you get into that. Um, but if you know the song, you already know how to you know how to fill that part out. So you got the. Uh, uh, so he's got to be. Just like that. Okay. That's the rhythm. I think I played the rhythm a little bit wrong last time. So this is it, though. I didn't say I played the wrong chords. I think I just said I played the rhythm wrong. That's it. So. then you see seven okay so so far you're going to have the sorry mm -mm -mm. section where the, he sings the verse which is so 
you have an E minor 7, double E on the left hand, B, D, E, G on the right hand. Hold on, I just gotta click something on my computer. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, let's do that. Let me just start that again. So you got E minor 7, double E on the left hand, B, D, E, G on the right hand. Then you're gonna take your left hand, move it over to G. Okay, keep your right hand the same. So that's your G6 chord or E minor 7 over G. Now keep your right hand the same again. Take your left hand, move it over to C. So that's a C major 9 chord now. You still got your right hand on those same four notes. And then you want to take your left hand, go back to B, double B, and you want to do a B augmented 7 chord. A, B, a D sharp, and G on your right hand. So you got E minor 7, put it over G, put it over C, and go to B augmented 7, okay? So you got... When it's time to come out of that, we go, I'm something about I'm a I'm a kill both of you or something he says like that. But when you're coming out of that progression, you want to hit an A7, A dominant seven, double A on the left hand, A, C sharp, E, G on the right hand, and then go down to that G13 chord again. Double G on the left hand, F, B, E on the right hand and that's everything to the song right there and when it's time to come out you're gonna go that's a G3 and then you go back to So that's everything. I, I spelled out every chord. After that, you just keep going through different cycles depending on where he is in the song. That's the section you should, you know, you know, I, I don't know the song backwards and forwards like that. So, you know, but that's every section of the song. So you can take what I just showed you and just implement it to play through the entire song. So, okay. So, um, I guess I'll catch y'all on the next one. Poop, darn, I'ma tell your mama on you. <laughs>